I bring to you uh, that this briefing provides an opportunity to respond to the baseless utterance that Dr. Peter Biar Ajak made during his United States Senate Foreign Relations Committee hearings on the March 10, 2021, on the state of democracy around the world. In that hearing, he advanced a number of pictures, four of which stand out, stating that, one, the president and the national security director have a sole democracy in South Sudan. The president has never been elected, but only appointed since independence in 2011. Three, the National Security Service is a rogue institution with gross human rights abuses and the general and the fourth, the general elections should be held uh, in 2022. A, justification for the response and the case against uh, Peter Biar. This response is justified since he made his views public. It is befitting, however, to refresh your memories about Peter Biar's case. As you all know, he was detained in July 2018 sentenced to two years in prison in 2019 and pardoned in January uh, 2020. He later joined his family in Nairobi, Kenya, before relocating to the United States, where he has been making non-stop accusations against the unity government. President Salva Kiir, National Security Service, Director, and other leaders. It must be noted that Peter has always engaged in subversive acts which are injurious uh, to the peace process and the leaders of the country. A dossier the government has obtained, for example, points to Peter collusion with foreign governments, organizations and external actors and violence group to radicalize the youth with serious consequences to destabilize an already uh, polarized society. The, pol the false allegations. This section refutes the four false allegations that Peter Biar made above. One, on installed democracies process President Salva Kiir was ready for the general election in 2015, but the 2013 conflict intervened. In 2015, the president and the government pushed harder to hold election that year. But various external actors South Sudanese civil, civil society members, other oppositions, and members of the public saw this as futile exercise since the igad led peace process was ongoing at the time. At the time. It is thus false to think that the president has stunted democracy in South Sudan. Regarding the National Security Service Director, he has nothing to do with the election and could not be counted as among those uh, thwarting democracy in South Sudan. If anything, he has done his job to uphold the Constitution and operate within his mandate, including deterring extrajudicial activities and shunning violence as a means for ascending to power. On the general election and legitimacy of the president, the president was duly elected 
for five years term in, 2020, in 2010. But upon his defendants, he was left with four years, which extended to 2015, not 2011, as alleged. He was ready to go for election in the 2015, but the 2013 conflict snarled him into endless peace negotiations. Therefore, those who introduced violence into our democratic process should carry the blame for delayed transition. The president remained legitimate until election in 2023. Let us face it, elections are time consuming. In this context, Peter demands that the general election be conducted in just a year from now, which is clearly impractical, lacks context, and demonstrate how bizarre his views appear. On casting the National Security Service as a rock institution, the, NS, the NSS National Security Service is among the disciplined forces in this country. It, continued, it continues to adhere to its mandate while protecting the interests of the nation. Obviously, this makes it anything but rock. Uh, those in NS custody are properly cared for and accorded due process, including fair trial. Above all, the NNS has adhered to the R ARCAS, which is the revitalized agreement or a solution of conflict in the Republic of South Sudan, and continues to make significant improvements, namely training its members on the law and human rights issues, holding its members accused of crime and other abuses accountable, establishing exchange uh, programs across the NSS unit in the 10 states, setting up information desks to receive public complaints and reports, relying on the legal department directorate for advice to safeguard human rights, rooting professionalism, integrity, and uh, meritocracy into the service and remaining accountable to the civilian authority. On the general election, the unity government, which came into effect in February 2020, plans to hold general elections in June 2023. This time, window allows the authorities to conduct census, repatriate the refugees, and displace people and determine electoral constituencies. Given these activities take time and resources, the, Uni the Unity government is seeking support from uh, development partners and friends. Broadly, the Unity government is now engaging the United Nations Population Funds, UNISPA, UNIF, U UNFPA to institute a hybrid census, which entails the application of modern geo-reference, uh, democratic uh, demographic data, uh, generations, technology, including uh, uh, technology, including the use of satellite imagery to collect data in in an accessible areas for the population and housing census. Therefore, there's no way that the general election can be held in 2022, as Peter naively demands. As the reader will see in the official response document, there are consequences that come with rash elections. Examples abound in Africa, including in the region. 
on the progress made since the signing of the revitalized peace agreement or the resolution of conflict in the country, since the signing of the revitalized agreement in 2018, notable improvements have been registered. Uh, for illustrative purpose, a few are highlighted below. One, the number of security incidents has drastically reduced countrywide. The national and state government have been formed. Peace partners have agreed on the size of national and state parliament with their uh, reconstitutions to be made in due course. Security sector has become more professional and accountable uh, to the public. The management of public resources has also improved, particularly through the formation of the public financial management oversight committee, which is now helping the government uh, to rebuild credibility. The formation of unity government has provided a breathing space, enabling critical reforms, fostering national healings, and enhancing the voice of the public. In the spirit of peace, prisoners of war, political detainees, and those with other uh, forgivable offenses, including Peter, were pardoned. The constitution-making process is ongoing and remains inclusive, and a freedom of speech within the parties and for civil society has expanded considerably. In conclusion, the unity government is implementing the peace agreement and looks forward uh, to a promising transition to democracy. It plans to hold national election in 2023. In addition, President Salva Kiir and General Okol have never been stumbling blocks to elections, but rather a series of conflicts since 2013 has been the biggest barrier. Furthermore, the NNS National Security Service has made a solid progress since the signing of the agreement, making it more uh, reformable and accountable. Uh, this response therefore provides assurances to the people of South Sudan, the region, and international community that the unity government remains committed to ensuring transparency and accountability, faithfully implementing uh, the revitalized agreement or a solution of conflict in the Republic of South Sudan and gearing up for peaceful transfer of power in the next election, if the will of the people so dictates. While looking forward to hearing from you and answering your questions, I thank you all. Um, the NNS uh, spokesperson, David Kamuri, and I will now alternate in answering your questions. May God bless you and God, may God bless the Republic of South Sudan.